Comanda mi raza, aquí está tu compa Don Chuy, yo girl's favorite weed man. Now I'm here with a quick little story time because I had some people in my DMs asking me exactly how I got started in the grow game, what were my first moves exactly, this and that. So I was just like, okay, you know, I think I can make a, a video that's short, sweet, straight to the point. And I think one of the biggest key factors of one of my successes of being able to continue, being able to grow and just following my dream is... <laughs> I got that dog in me, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, so I know I'm coming at you with the energy of a fucking crackhead with ADHD, but what I mean by I got that dog in me is ever since high school, you know, uh, I've always kind of had this idea, this dream that, you know, I always wanted to grow weed or I always wanted to see how I could potentially, you know, break into the, you know, the cannabis world, into the whole community of exactly being able to start your own business in this and being from california you know i found it you know easier to try to get into the the legal world and you know just try to invest in it so the first thing that i was doing was straight out of high school i was doing a commercial fire sprinkler work so i used to do a lot of fire sprinkler systems and usually commercial buildings so like uh, apartment complexes uh hotels uh big buildings like that so after doing that for about four to five years, I was able to save up all my money. I was doing like 60 hour weeks. So after saving up all my money, I was able to find a cozy little small spot that I could rent out. But in in terms of growing cannabis, it's perfect. So I was able to set everything up. Uh, I was able to buy all the supplies that I needed. I was able to save up all the money that I needed to be able to survive, you know, several years being able to pay rent, you know, being able to do everything on my basic necessities by myself. So after being able to take the plunge into that, because if some of you are ever, you know, a little hesitant based on like maybe what people around you, maybe if you what your family's gonna think, like if they just see you that like you just completely quit your job. Cause I know some people are probably gonna be giving you the side eye and just be like, you need a job. But once you get, uh, once you get past that part and then once people really start seeing uh, what what your goals and your visions are. So like the moment I really started coming out and showing my family and my friends uh, all the hoodies, all the stickers, you know, all the jars, just everything that I was really doing, all my family and everybody around me, they were just like, oh, oh, no, you <laughs> like, like you're really going at it. And then when you just start networking, then you're able to find people that they can put you in a store and then you can just get a little bit more publicity. You can get a little bit more promotions. Then you just start linking up. And then when you put in the work to really put yourself out there, that's when people are going to take notice of like the, the type of work that you're putting out. So that's why I've been able to feel blessed that a lot of people were able to like take notice and be like, hey, yo, you know what? I want to work with him or hey, you know, I want to invest in this person. So I feel blessed in that part, you know, because. I feel like I'm just like a, a regular run of the mill Mexican, even though I'm pretty fucking white, you know, uh, I'm just a regular old Mexican, you know, and I just off of pure hard work, you know, I've just saved up all my money. And when I was able to invest it in what I truly believed that I could like thrive in, you know. I just accepted everything because everybody just assumes, oh, you just grow weed or you sell weed. Uh, everything is just perfect. You're just automatically rich. It's like it doesn't always work like that. There's a lot of risks involved. There's a lot of things involved. But, you know, everything's been able to work out. You know, I've been able to learn a lot. I've been able to just do a lot, move around a lot, just kind of like see how this stuff goes down. And I'm just here along for the ride. I love every part of it. And... Yeah, I feel like that's why I'm always preaching it to you guys. Uh, however you guys want to picture your own brand, your own vision, however you guys see yourself, I feel like just invest in it. And every single one of you can can achieve whatever you want to achieve. I've been able to do it. I've been able to run with my dream for several years now, being able to profit off of something that you truly love. I mean, I feel like not too many people get to say that, so it's definitely a blessing. You know, I love, I love being able to, you know, just grow weed, uh, choose the genetics that I want and then it's sought after like people want what I grow like it's always a cool feeling so yeah all I was doing was just construction breaking my you know just breaking my back doing that doing overtime 60 hour weeks and then I finally just quit all that because I said you know what I think it's ready for me to really go full force and you know my goal and I feel like I've really been succeeding in that 
and being able to break into the market on a larger scale definitely requires, you know, good chunks of change and being able to supply certain things and being able to maintain yourself while getting certain permits required for certain levels of like an operation, you know, it takes, you know, it takes a lot of money. So that's why, you know, a hey, slow and steady, slow and steady. The only thing I can do is just one foot at a time. That's why I'm not going to uh, overkill myself. I ain't going to like pressure myself to go above and beyond when I don't really need to, you know, because I am I know just putting it in 100%. I'm telling you guys, just from the people that I've been talking with and just the people that I've been networking with, you never know when you're going to see me at your next local uh, mobile dispensary app. You're going to see my name pop up. You're going to go to a cookie store. You're going to see my jars on the, t you know, you're going to see my jars on the shelves. So you just never know. So I always like keeping certain things a secret, you know, because the element of surprise is always nice. So, yeah, I think that's really that's pretty much it, you know? And if if any people around you, you know, they're ever asking, you know, like, oh, like, uh, how much do you make doing what you do or this and that, you know? Just tell them, oh, you know, I can be up, I can be down, you know? And they always gonna look at you just like, what do you mean by that? You know, but aside from those looks, you know, I would just say, you know, you know, just keep certain things private, you know? There's always gonna be, a lot of nosy people that are going to be questioning like hey how much you making or maybe they're going to be a little bit a little too interested or just a little nosy i don't know there's always weird people when when you start doing your own business or you start like uh you know investing in yourself because shit i don't know why but it just happened so just keep certain things personal uh when you start when you start talking about money or just money in general it starts creating like a weird environment i mean you want to be in the environment of money but being around money having money and thing like that you know you can come across some interesting weird people that want to get close to you but you know aside from you know watching out from that you should be cool you know and i think that's pretty much sums up everything you know uh i don't think i missed anything out you know my story ain't nothing special you know um regular ass mexican that's out here trying to you know achieve my goals achieve my dreams one plan at a time Except I planted hella fucking plants, so you know what I mean? So I'm going to get back to my garden. I'm going to get back to growing these gancito plants and some pandan gusto. So yeah, hopefully this answered your guys' questions. I just worked my ass off in construction, saved up money, always hustling on the side a little bit. You know, I was always in, I always loved weed, so I was always, you know, dabbling in it. So yeah, ended up just finding a little spot to rent out and the rest was history. You know, so from here on out, you guys just keep on expecting some more interesting videos, some more dope ass vlogs. So peace.